Okay, this is sort of my first time listening to Marcus King, actually. Just a few uh, days ago, we uh, listened to a cover for uh, seemingly one of the most famous songs from a band called The Band. And I got a glimpse there at this Marcus King dude. I feel like I've seen him show up on like my, my uh, shorts and all of this stuff before, but I was really intrigued. So I went through just like my donation history and I saw that a, a friend of the channel who's, who's donated and helped out before, Jeremy Jackson. Jeremy, shout out to you. Hope you're doing well. Hope your family's doing well. Hope your health is good. But he had suggested uh, we check out Virginia Recorded Live for the World Cafe. Now, everyone always has strong opinions of, oh, for your first time listening to this guy, you should have listened to this. You should have listened to the studio version. Well, there's nothing I can do. This is going to be my first time actually listening to Marcus King, okay? So homie's young, freak. He's like blue southern rock. He's already Grammy nominated from Greenville, South Carolina. Let's see what we got here, man. We got seven minutes. If you're new, you're, there's no way you're new to reaction videos. They take no talent whatsoever. But we are going to have to take pauses here and there to just talk about what we're what we're seeing. And uh, we'll, we'll try to ha say, have interesting things to say, but we'll keep those short. Main thing here is giving you this chance, right, to re-experience your first time checking out, learning about this guy. So here we go. Okay, come on. The world? We just got to go off in really initial thoughts. What the freak, bro? I feel similar to how I felt the first time we li we uh, listened to Chris Stapleton. Shockingly amazing, right? And talented in every way. Has long hair, is wearing the hat. There's a lot of similarities here. But this whole, you know, reemergence of like blues. I love it, man. Blues country, Southern rock. You know what I'm saying? I love it so much. I am also beyond happy that my first time listening to the dude is in a live performance because I, I, I refuse to not believe that this isn't true. I know that my generation and those younger than me too are just craving real, actually like talented musicians being at the top of the hierarchy, bro. We are craving true talent and having important things to say. Not the mumble rap, twerking crap, like real like talent where the recording isn't overly produced. There isn't auto-tune, just true talent. And the message of the song and the, the feeling it's trying to evoke, I really you can't feel it unless it's like the people are actually performing it. The recordings that we have, like the, the album versions that are like studio recorded, those hit different than overly produced uh, albums, bro. When I was graduating from uh, from high school, my favorite band was this uh, band called Dance Gavin Dance. Comment down below if you know who they are, by the way. I love them. I went to go see them live, and I actually started disliking them more. They it, they couldn't perform their their album song live. It it was just off, and they were probably just drunk and high as all get out, and so they couldn't keep it. It was weird, actually. So I think that's where I kind of developed, you know, this craving for like just be good. Bro. I thought the drummer had tattoos on his forehead, by the way, but it's a set.
Okay, here we go. Okay. I don't know why I always actually find like he solos like funny for some reason. I don't know. This is actually fire though. I re this solo I'm really enjoying here. Love the change to the organ there. Heck yeah, let's go. Got no opponent on the keys here. I need to find, look up the lyrics, so I don't know what he's saying. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. He's keeping going. That little that yeah. Okay. Gosh, bro. Dude. Okay. Yeah. Finish it up for me. The 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 tone on that. Gibson's fantastic, bro. The tone on the Gibson's fantastic. Okay, I just want to see what he talks like really quick. And like, how?
how can I make my guitar like gritty like Janice's raw vocals? So like the Marshall came into play. Nice. Yeah. No, I'm just curious. Um, he would have been, all right, like let's say we were watching The Voice. This guy starts singing and you're like, what the freak? And you turn around and you're like, this guy, like he fits that need. I'm not saying, like I'm just, I'm just saying. Loved everything about it, bro. Overweight, acne, long hair, but the voice and the guitar playing, homie, the lot Cassidy would be a hard thing for him to keep, you know what I'm saying? Freaking unbelievable. I am more impressed with his voice than his guitar playing. His guitar playing, fantastic though. One of my favorite things that we've, you know, in this channel, the thing that we've experienced and grown to enjoy more. I used to be very impressed by technicality and speed, your Yngwie Malmsteen try a, a, you know, form of playing, right, and soloing. That used to be the thing that impressed me, now it's become more, yeah, feel. It seems like that's a pretty common thing for as you get older, it seems like feel and voicing your guitar solo is becoming more important. Um, to me, Homie has a lot of both, bro. Homie's actually a very impressive soloist while still saying interesting, like his interesting phrasing in his solos and the tone and the rock, like the grit on that Southern, like that Southern rock sound freaking awesome. I loved that song. I am going to find the studio version and putting that on my gym playlist. That was a dope song, but the voice is what got me, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Written by Marcus King, it seems. So he is the songwriter. Typical like type of Southern Rock Blues lyric lyricism. I love my sweet Virginia. She don't do me no damn good. Trying to take everything I love from me. She want to kill me because I knew she could. Pretty uh, unhealthy relationship that we're singing about here. So the grit of the song, you know, kind of matches well with the 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 messaging in the in the lyrics. I love it. I I am very satisfied with this being my introduction to Marcus King, bro. Unbelievable. I'm excited. Do we need to check out more? Let me know. Comment down below. I uh, personally, selfishly, would love to. So I love that. Marcus King, bro. We got just some great musicians coming. Um, there, there's, there's an awakening happen happening in the world. I, I'm feeling that right now, and that's a good, that's a good thing. Much love, everybody.